हेलो हाउ आर यू गाइज आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ टू बिल्ड अ न्याव बार विद द हेल्प ऑफ फ्लोर प्रॉपर्टी सो इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोन सी हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड नैव बार विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इन ब्लॉक इन लाइन ब्लॉक स्टाइल एज वेल एज वॉट वॉट आर द टैग्स that is inline tags uh, as well as block level tags so what is the basic difference between them so we are going to see them all over in this video so let us directly jump on to our whiteboard so if i talk about our html tags so basically there are two types of tags that are available in our html okay so if i want to divide them into equal parts so let's say first of all those tags comes which are inline tags and the second tags are block level tags so if i talk about block level tags we have div tag in that let's say for example we have the paragraph tag for that we have the h1 h1 and up to h1 up to h6 so all heading tags consist of this block level and let's say if i want to talk about inline tags so we have a example of input tag let's say along with that i also have a example of span tag also with that we have our anchor tag as well so what is the basic difference between this between this uh, inline tag and block tag okay so this is actually let's say we let's say i have like uh, included one tag okay so what is the like basic difference between this block tag block okay so let's say this is my window screen like a whole window screen is there okay and i am writing something like this in my like body in html tag let's say this is uh, me and i am just closing it okay so so it will get printed in my uh, web browser like this this is me and if i am try if i try to apply a style over here in inline style so in that case my 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 this particular tag will not cover only this much space this is me it will cover the entire window window size that we have okay so how it is getting applied so let us see directly with the help of examples so that you are getting a proper idea of how this works okay so let us go on to our vs code so we are back on our index.html page and in index.html page we are going to import our boilerplate code as always and i am going to write h1 tag for you guys okay and below that i am going to write let's say anchor tag and with one example let's say click me as it is anchor tag and in anchor in h1 tag we are going to use our simple example this is dev town okay so after that i am going to use this style and in style tag i am going to use h1 so i just wanted to show you the border of this board tags let's say 1 pixel solid red and for this anchor tag as well i am going to give the border of anchor tag as border 1 pixel solid red okay i am saving it and let us see like how it looks like on our chrome browser okay so right now you are able to see that my h1 tag like it it is getting covered it is covering my whole area whole block like the whole width of my web page you can see uh, that with the help of this red color line red border and my anchor tag is not covering whole line it is only covering the part in which the content is written inside the particular tag so this is the basic difference between inline tags inline like inline elements and block level elements so element here represents tag okay so this is the basic difference so right now let us also try with the help of div let's say so i have div tag i am going to like paste the same thing inside this this is dev town and let's say i want to apply same property to the div so h1 comma div let's say and let us see Yes, so right now you can see that this is Dev Town also getting the same uh, border as our H1 tag. So that means H1 and Dev, these both tags are our block level elements. Okay, so 
and what is this uh, display inline inline block property okay so i will show you let's say i have this two block level elements okay and i wanted i want this uh, two tags this is dev down this is dev down to come horizontally in front of each other so right now they are like uh, vertically down okay vertically aligned so let's say i'm using this div tag just to wrap my h1 and div tag okay so let's say i'm using this uh, as id here just to capture the outer box and i am going to style that outer box container with the help of my display property display let's say i'm doing this as inline block i'm just normally saving it and i am let us see like how it how it looks like let's say i'm removing the property from here because it will get applied to both div as well see right now you are able to see that i am getting my border to this element only which uh my inline block element so right now what is happening this display inline block prevents my block level from capturing the whole width so my h1 element is right now not capturing the whole width as you can see in my uh, output as well okay so it is only capturing the width like uh, until which our content until until which our content is like uh, limited or written in the in that particular tag okay so this is the difference between inline block and all this and after that uh, we also have one property as let's say we if, if you want to align our content in inline for that we need to use let's say i'm using anchor tag and let's say i'm writing one here another anchor tag i'm using let's say two here normal two i'm saving it now you are able to see that my one and two are getting aligned horizontally so display inline block we can use them you can use this in this way also that my inline block is able to arrange my both anchor tags in inline block so yes guys so in this way we can use our inline block property to arrange elements in horizontal positions as well and yes we can also create a navbar with this also so let's say i i also wanted to have some more links in here so i will just rename it like this 3 and 4 uh, let's say and i want my container to have background color of this beige color let's say and also i want to have it a border radius of 3 pixel 3 pixel actually px should be there okay i am saving it so right now you are also able to see that it is getting applied a border of what oh 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 okay so like making it inline block will uh, remove uh, the i think will 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 remove the background color it is not getting applied so let us see by applying the border color solid so i am just trying to implement a different border color just to see whether it is getting applied or not yeah so it is getting applied so right now you are able to see that whatever area is capturing the like whatever in whatever area the text is written so that much area is only being uh, taken use so let's say i am increasing the width right now uh, to 600 pixel so right now 600 pixel will be taken in use okay and i i just need to uh, give the padding and margin to our anchor tag so if i am giving a margin of let's say top margin i have top down margin i want 10 pixel and let's say 40 pixel of left right margin i want so this you are able to see the difference and if i am removing the border from here let's say so right now you are able to see that a beautiful navbar is like uh, placed there okay so if i like let's say if i make the width as 100% so 100% will 100% width with cap will capture the whole area the whole window size actually okay so in this way we can also like create navbar with the help of this in inline block or display property and yeah so this is all about today's video in so today we got to learn about inline elements block level elements and display inline block property so in the upcoming videos we are going to see what is float and grid so that it will make your uh, navbar making construction creating it very uh, easy 
so i will see you in next video guys until then thank you so much for watching bye bye